Welcome to Rough Road RV Life. Check out our review of Torreya State Park in the Panhandle of Florida. Hello fellow RVers, this is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. And we have stayed the week here at Torreya State Park. And this is a campsite map. We have been here January 21st to January 27th, 2018. It's a small park, 29 sites total. It is very hilly up in this side of Florida. We are in the panhandle of Florida, located between Tallahassee, Florida and Mariana, Florida. The hilliest uh, part of Florida that there is, if you like uh, a little bit more strenuous hikes, this has it here. As you can see, it's just one loop coming into the park. Uh, they do have a a yurt that they rent out, and this is one of the quietest parks I've ever been in. There's absolutely no sound at night. I think it's because we're still the, the uh, kids are still in school. I have not seen one child all week that I've been here. Now, this is the yurt that they have. It's kind of cool. They only have one. And I'm going to show you this overlook. It's kind of the, gives you an idea of the terrain here and what to look for. And there you go. As you can see, that's just a giant downhill. And once again, the yurt. Nice deck. This park is extremely well maintained. The bathrooms are very clean. The temperatures here have been at 35 at night to 65 maybe during the day. They even have a, they put a space heater in the restrooms to keep them warm. Just some idea of the sights. I'm going to walk over to the other side so you can get an idea of the you know, other side of this loop. This uh, state park borders the Apalachicola River. There are trails that will lead you down to the river. They are uphills and downhills on the trails, just uh, be mindful of that. And this is what the train would look on the other side of the loop. Yeah, fellow RVer. We were here the other night when a nice couple pulled in. They actually left Wednesday. They were in a pop-up camper and had three full-grown greyhounds with them and that was a pop-up camper full. This would be the loop coming into the park. As you see there's only 29 sites. Very quiet. Very peaceful and relaxing. Now, the entrance side of the loop. We have seen uh, people come and go. People stay a few nights. Some people stay one night. This might just be a stopover for a lot of people. Workers are out, blowing off every campsite, making sure they're clean, ready for the next one. Said it's a very well maintained park. There's some big boy RVs.
hiking, biking. Uh, as far as kayaking go, they say there's a long way you have to go to launch a kayak. The river here runs very fast, so it's not a river that you can put in and paddle down and paddle back up. You have to, you know, we have to drop a vehicle at the other end or a range. That's the camp post right there. Ranger station right there. A puppy. And we've almost reached the end of the loop. And out there, uh, that's got to be a never ending battle blowing leaves. I can see the, uh, some of the sides back down deep. No pull throughs. Park service is here. This is a little overlook they built here. You can uh, walk out on. And at the bottom of this overlook, you can see the Apalachicola River running. Just walk up here. You see, there's some benches. And then you walk up. How you doing? I didn't know if you picked one sound or not. No. It's one of the sights. Very relaxing, very peaceful. Actually, there's another overlook. That wasn't the one to see the river. They have an ancient house here called the Baxter House that you can actually walk out and see the river. You can hear a pin drop. Nice spaces, easy to back into. Fifty amp service or thirty. On some of the sites, though, you will find that the hose is actually not on the driver's side of the RV. It's a double connection that you might have to run under your RV to the uh, to the hose or use your holding tank. There we are. Back in there. As you can see. Ranger station. Doggy play area. There's our neighbor. And these sites are both full 
last night and they both have left. And there's a restroom right there. I'm just going to walk down here. And show you the bathhouse. Alright, there's an, the campground host here. There's actually two of them. They're on four days and then off four days. They rotate. And here's the bathhouse. Hot water, good pressure, clean, uh, two shower stalls. Very nice. And around to the back side of this bathhouse, there is a sink, double sink, one dollar washer, dryer. Single sink and right down over here. For those of you that hike, there's a tree with a blue blaze on it. And this right here. Walk up here a second before I walk down there. Is one of the trails. It's about a quarter mile in and a quarter mile out. Uh, it goes to a small waterfall. It's, like I said, you go into a waterfall. You are. Uh, very pretty. Let you know all waterfalls you got to walk down to and then walk up and get back out of them. But it's a quarter mile. It's a uh, it's wide. Once you get past these few steps going down the initial it's uh it's not too bad. It takes about I don't know a half an hour to walk down there and back. I don't know how much camera taking you want to take. But this would be the blue blaze for it. And it's straight in, straight back. This is the initial steps going down to it. And then the trail just wanders on the way down there. Uh, we did it yesterday, took our dogs. It's a nice little walk. A little bit of cardio for you. But that's the Weeping Willow Trail. And uh, they do have two larger loops that are about seven miles a piece. One of them's called the Toriea Challenge. And then they have some smaller trails. And the, white, the uh, walk to the uh, Baxter House. All in all, it's a nice park. Our first time here, we're pleasantly surprised. You know, we do think that uh, we would revisit this park. Now, like I said, we're in uh, January, so temperatures are nice. Typical Florida, if you come here August, it's bound to be hot, probably more bugs. But right now, we haven't seen a mosquito or a gnat or a no see -em all week. And that's really great, especially if you're from Florida and have had to deal with those little pests. But, uh, yeah, this is it. This is, uh, here comes another coming in. So, yeah. Toria State Park. And there's my home. I headed back to home. So I would say if you're uh, coming through the panhandle of Florida, stop by, spend a night or two.
I think you'll like it. Rough Road RV Life, signing off.